This is a Class 47 diesel electric locomotive in British Rail green livery. This tutorial will go through the start and stop procedure. Climb aboard to get going. Enter the cab through the door indicated. When you're ready, sit in the driver's seat. To get the loco started, set the battery isolation switch to the closed position. To activate the control desk, set the master key into the on position. Set the reverser into the engine only position. The locomotive is now ready to be started. Push the engine start button on the control desk. To release the air pressure holding the wheels, set the driver's brake to the running position. With the locomotive running, to get going, set the reverser to the forward position. To make others aware that this loco is operational, switch the headlights on. Turn the parking brake handle to release it. Finally, to get going, set the throttle to at least 20%. Well done, the loco is on the move. To maintain a specific speed, set the throttle back to the off position. To bring the locomotive to a gentle stop, set the driver's brake to the initial application position. Take this basic training and apply it to further operations and you'll do great. This is a class 09 diesel electric shunter used mainly for freight operations, but known to help with passenger procedures too. Let's take a look at the engine's starting and stopping procedures. Climb aboard to get started. Enter the cab through the door indicated. Before anything else, set up the marker lights. Turn the main switch on the panel up there to on. Now the main power switch is on, walk around the exterior of the locomotive and turn on all four marker lights. Great! 
climb back aboard the locomotive and sit down in the driver's seat. To start the locomotive, hold the master key in the start position for at least five seconds. With the locomotive running, set the master key to the on position. The reverser lever determines the direction of travel. Set this into the forward position. parking brake handle into the release position. Finally, to get going, set the throttle into position 1 for at least 5 seconds and then set it to position 2. On the move. To maintain a specific speed, set the throttle back to the off position. To bring the locomotive to a gentle stop, set the driver's brake to the service 30% position. Take this basic training and apply it to further operations and you'll do great.